Hello everyone, uh, this is Dr. Tariq Masood. Today I'm going to discuss optimization concept, building block. Before my lecture, I used to read the Quranic verse, Rabbi Shrali Sadri wa Yasli Amri wa Halal Ugdu Tumilisani Yaqfu Qawli Rabbi Zidni Ilma. Okay, I'm going to demonstrate optimization objective. Why I'm doing optimization? Why we need to do it? The first to maximize the project present value at minimum. OPEX maximize plant availability and reliability at minimum maintenance cost. Number three, maximize plant yield and quality at minimum undesired conditions. Number four, enhance impact on health, safety and environment. These are four factors are backbone of process optimization. So based on that we set and we adjust our optimization boundary how to do it now on my next slide i'm going to discuss what are the design constant during the optimization process okay optimization design constant the optimization design has a two constant one is a plausible design internal factor and possible design external factors so the plausible design internal factor which are changeable and external factor these factors cannot be changed this is a possible design so the plausible design that are determined a probability changeable and these are undetermined probability unchangeable so these factors are unchangeable so in my next slide here okay process design internal factor changeable Methods or methodologies, choices of process, process condition, and materials. These are four factors, or these four internal factors can be adjusted based on operational requirement to enhance plant safety, integrity, reliability, and project quality conditions. So, based on that, we can adjust in order to achieve what our objective to design the plant operation okay in my next slide process design external factors fixed or constant the possible design external factor comprises of, of four factors first government controls economic constant safety regulations and resources these are fixed or constant factors government legislation on environment and safety, safety regulations, economic constraint, fixed budget for the project and limited resources. These four factors we have to consider during our design phase. Okay, we have to start the optimization process. First, awareness, analysis, synthesis, action, status quo and curiosity. These are six layers which talked about how the process optimization can be executed. So in awareness, what type of awareness need, analysis type of analysis need, synthesis, action, status quo and curiosity. So these are four integrated layers which can address how the process optimization can be accomplished. Okay, in awareness, further constituted in two sections, sensitize and fixed. So the sensitize comprises of four methods. First, physical observe the things to see, touch and test, alter and affect the things. See, feel, detect and perceive things happen around cognitive dissonance, inconsistent belief and attitude. These four methods can sensitize of different technical issues, how to address and what my objective to do it and how to fix on merit. In my next slide here, okay, in this section I'm going to discuss optimization factor analysis. So the analysis comprises of are five different elements first type of analysis this skill need to carry out analysis 
prioritize the analysis, create hypothesis, and gather quality data. These are five factors impact on analysis to achieve desired result. Okay, in my next slide, I will discuss a type of analysis I am going to carry out to complete my optimization process. Okay, so in my this slide, optimization analysis, so I am going to explain the type of analysis we must carry out to complete an optimization process. First, accuracy. So, to determine risk and mitigation and control mechanisms, health and safety involvement, shut down what were changed, revamp and replacement activities. The third analysis startup, failure, preventive and corrective maintenance carried out, ongoing routine activities to deliver the as planned. Okay, now these are four analysis constituted with the types of analysis to complete a detailed analysis to carry out optimization process. So in my next slide, I am going to discuss analysis, but on the Okay, in my this slide, I'm going to discuss skills for analysis. Analysis level two. The skill constituted into a five segments. Okay, first problem solving, material properties, system thinking, people skills, and equipment knowledge. Okay, problem solving to address complex or difficult issues with degree of precision, material properties to determine material properties and characteristics. System thinking, system operating control boundaries and their operating envelopes. System people skills, capacity and capability development. Equipment knowledge, operating control and safety limit of various equipment and their operations. These are five skills must accomplish to in order to perform a complete analysis for optimization process. In my next slide here people skills to carry out analysis. The first people skills, communication, trust, compromise, relationship, dignity and integrity. So these are six segments constituted as a people skills. So in communication what we have to do? To import information for resolve, trust, confidence and trust data quality. Compromise making concession for dispute resolutions, relationship state being connected to resolve the issue, dignity, manner and style to address the issues with degree of precision, integrity, resolve the issues being whole and divided. These are six segments constitute to people skill in order to perform a complete analysis for optimization process. That is the how the people involve in optimization process. to carry out the analysis. In this slide, I'm going to discuss first HSC health safety involvement, the risk to carry out a various quantitative risk analysis and process related assessment, set a mitigation, pla mitigation plan and control mechanism. Second, finance, ERM, enterprise risk management system to determine a risk which may lead to have a revenue loss so to address these issues with the degree of precedence okay the next is a nice to have it so that is not very important as a part of the priority okay in this slide I'm going to discuss optimization factor that is synthesis deficit communication and test hypothesis skill to import information for a result and secondly test hypothesis starting point from investigation or speculation that is hypothesis that's a part of the synthesis so one is a communication second is a hypothesis to speculate what you are going to perform so these are a two factor that is a part of synthesis in my next slide here okay optimization factor action its segments Okay, action segment is further constituted into manage and teamwork. So manage comprises of four and other elements 
plan, lead, organize and control. So the plan to execute the activities, lead, establish team and lead the activities as, as set or as design. Organization integrate with different operation stakeholder to address the issue. Control implement and improve and see the control mechanisms. So these are four factors who is affecting manage and manage is a part of the actions. So based on that, we can perform a different level of teamwork to address these issues. Into my next slide here. So I'm going to discuss optimization factor status quo. The first is history and second is involvement. The historical data at different time span complete to complete of various investigations. Into involvement condition as affected by the human activities. So these are historical data at different time span and these are involvement affected by the human activities. These are two activities are part of a status quo segments. Into my next slide here is a curiosity segment. So the first is observations, a process to monitor or surveillance at different activities observation and second year expectation. The assumption to carry out different process related activities. This is the process related activity expectation here is the observations that is surveillance. So these are two connected with curiosity. Curiosity constituted by observation and expectation to deliver the required result. Into my next okay this must this is my last slide process optimization change process. So as I've discussed earlier, process optimization building block, when you will be mature enough, you will be able to address following issues, troubleshooting, the bottleneck and revamping and replacement. So very soon we, you will see my next lecture on process optimization. Thank you very much. Please send me your feedback and comments t.masood.dr at path.edu and subscribe my channel. Thanks and stay blessed.